to my channel it's peter panther of course it's me peter panther and for today's video it's gonna be a very short video i'm going to talk about an update about my big babies right here and yeah those chickens <laughs> anyways yeah i'm gonna talk about the update for my monsteras and i'm going to be opening a package that i ordered online from um Masitera PH or Masitera. I don't know. I just ordered it. I forgot the name. I'm just gonna put it right here if I if ever I had it wrong. So shall we get started because I want to open the package because I received it today. I received it today actually and it's a you'll see. <laughs> Let me move my Monstera back here so that you would see my big monster. Anyways, so here is the package. So here's the package that has opened this one because I am I have been waiting for this one for a long 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 time. And hopefully nothing broke inside because you know you know now pH. Let's open. And of course I sanitized this one before I place it in my room so don't worry about you know you know what I mean don't worry about it let's see <laughs> okay I got the rooting hormone here for what okay I got this one is it focusing on the camera is the camera focusing is it uh. So anyways, this is from Masitera. I got it right, Masitera. So it says here, rooting hormone in the front. And I'm gonna read the directions for watering. One bottle cap mixed with four liters of water for rooting two bottle, two bottle caps, which is this one. And mixed with 250 ml of water, then soak roots for 15 minutes. Application use as needed. Then active ingredients, they have naphthalene, acetic acid, vitamin B1, and inert. Shake well before use. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna use it yet. Oh. oh no. Okay, so this is the rooting hormone of Masitera. You can find them in Shopee. I ordered this one in Shopee though. This one costs... I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. So next. We have neem oil, 7.5 milli milliliters. <gasps> I have a freebie. There's a freebie. Okay. So here is the packaging for the neem oil. Very nice. I like it. Very nice. Masitera. Okay, so it says here. So that's the one. It says here, Masitera Neem Oil Organic Pesticide or Insecticide. Okay, the reason why I bought neem oil is because I have thrip problem in my Monstera Deliciosa and other stuff, other plants in my collection and I really don't like, like I can control the thrip infestation in my plants but I don't like what happens to the plant after the thrip has been lingering around the plant. Like. I just want my plant to be as perfect as this one, like green one, and I don't want this guy to have thrip markings or whatever because I want a plant that looks very, very beautiful and very clean. So that's the reason why I bought, I bought this one. So shall we open one packet because I am excited, I ordered two. Oh, I remember this one is 49 pesos. So is this one, 49 pesos each. Okay, I'm gonna open one of these. Because anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. So there is a uh, there's an instructions right here. Um, shake well before use. Store in a cool, dark place away from sunlight. Spray solution must be uh, used within eight hours for maximum effectiveness. Do not use in food handling areas. Do not add other chemical components. Do not apply wilted stress plants or prior to root development. 
Reapplication after rain is necessary and one should avoid applying to the leaves during the heat of the day. So I have seen a lot of, uh, I've researched actually on neem oil and I've seen a lot of pictures where um, people tend to make a mistake with neem oil and make their mixture very very strong so it burns the leaves of the plant especially to the plants that are um, soft leaf or the plants with thin leaves so be careful and be mindful when you use neem oil. Let's open it. I want to use scissors <laughs> because I'm OC. Okay, right there. Ooh, so this is how it goes. I did not expect this one. Here is the neat oil. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. This is the neem oil and I suppose you have to use it carefully. And I am very amazed with the Masitera because they package it so well. There's no leaks inside and I'm very <laughs> I'm very happy with this one. Thank you Masitera. I'm gonna do a video with an update using this products so that you would know and I could recommend you um, Masitera for you guys. And they have a lot of products, not just neem oil and rooting hormone, they have a lot of products so Check them on Shopee, um, search Masitera, and then it will just pop out. It's too early to say this one, but yeah, let's continue. I have a freebie here. Okay, freebie. Plant food. Oh, oh, they included plant food. Thank you, Masitera. Here you go. Plant food. Mmm. I didn't order this one, but they gave, they gave it for free. I think it's a freebie. Thank you so much, Masitera, for this freebie. So now I got this three. So this was 49, 49, 49, and I got a free one. So thank you so much, Masitera. And I'm very happy. Although it arrived a week after, I don't know. Well, it's due to the pandemic still. And you can't just expect your packages to arrive like two days after, unless if you live in Manila. So you guys, this is the package, and now let's move on with the update. So first we're gonna start with my Monstera Borsigiana. So if you would remember, this Monstera Borsigiana is a cutting from this mother plant right here, and I made this cutting about a month ago, or no, no, no. Two months ago so this is about two months three months almost three months old um, cutting and after 40 days in water propagation I actually transferred it to soil because the root system and the root growth was insane it was insane it was very very fast and I was really amazed but I was also scared because um, usually when you top cut a plant and it has like a a baby or you know what I mean it usually dies off because it would like put out the energy on root growth not on leaf development so that's why I was afraid but you guys if you would see this one I the pot is heavy so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it one-handed this guy is pushing out a new leaf with six splits. Six splits, you guys. Six splits. And it's tiny. There you go. So I just placed this one um, over a... I just placed this one over an east-facing um, side of our house. Of course, it's outside the house. I can't put inside. I can't put plants inside my house because the lighting is not enough inside. How I wish it was enough because I would put all my plants inside my room, like this one, this room. So, after 40 days, I place it inside. Uh, I place. I transfer this one to soil, and after a month or so, uh, this new baby pushed out another leaf. Left. <laughs> another leaf with six fenestration, you guys. So. 
the latest, the last leaf was three frustrations, and this one is six. That is a like an absolute upgrade. You guys, I cannot believe it, and I'm very excited. So I was really planning on putting this, putting a moss pole in this one, but I couldn't find a moss pole yet. I want to buy a moss pole, but it takes like delivery, and it would take days, and you know, and stuff like that. So I didn't yet buy a moss pole, and I'm planning if, because I want the leaves to grow bigger, and I'm a guy with like. I'm a guy who likes big leaves, so I don't know. I just like it with big leaves. So I'm planning to put a moss ball on it or something else. I'm gonna find a way. Moving on to the mother plant of the Borsigiana. So, quick reminder, you guys, this one is not directly cut here, okay? I have one, two, three, four, five. Five more leaves rooting and growing. Um, the other one is growing a new sprout. No, all of them are growing a new sprout, and I'm very happy with it. And it might take a while because it's a cutting, it's a leaf cutting, and it might take a while. <laughs> so, this mother plant right here shot out a new leaf about two weeks ago. This one, this small leaf, it's bigger than my hand, uh, it's smaller than my hand, but as big as my palm. Yeah. So it shut out this one, a very small leaf, I think it just, it's like a starter leaf, or I don't know. And after a week, after a week, while this one was still hardening off, it was already pushing up another leaf, which is this big guy right here. Look at the size of this two. This one is the first leaf, and this one is the second leaf. And the size comparison for this two, it's like six times as big as this. Six times bigger. But there's no fenestrations yet. Or splits. Because if you can see, the old leaves right here have no splits yet. And I'm waiting for this guy to have splits on the next baby. And I'm very excited. So yes. Um, if you have followed, if you follow me on my Peter Planter account on IG, I actually made a story about this mother plant having two sprouts. But this one seems to grow, seem to grow faster than the the other one that's underneath underneath it. But I don't know. It's kind of stuck. It's just stuck right there, and I don't know if it's gonna grow any faster. But I'm thankful that this one's growing, but I want this one to grow as well because I want more Monstera Borsigiana. <laughs> so yes, that's the mother plant of the Monstera Borsigiana. And that one is a chicken. <sighs> okay, moving on to the last Monstera. Oh my goodness. Okay, moving on to the last Monstera. This is the Monstera Deliciosa. A very large monster deliciosa. Bigger than my face. Yep. So, the last time you've seen this one was when it was still unfurling, as what I've said earlier, or did I? So, this was still unfurling, and I was very, very anxious while it was unfurling because here in my house, there's a lot of predators and that. <laughs> there's a lot of like. Apids, thrips, uh, what else? Spiders. No, I'm not. I don't mind spiders in my plants, but those pests that is just annoying. I was very anxious, so every day I was I was like misting this one. I was spraying this one with water so that it was clean. I was checking this one every single day until it unfurled completely and. It took a while for the leaf to harden until it was like this. But one thing I noticed, the leaf, like my Monstera Deliciosa, ten, tends to like, like if you can notice, the leaves are kind of like, they're not straight, they're kind of curvy and, 
know what I mean? So yeah, it has around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve fenestrations and a lot of splits. Um, hoping that this one will get, get bigger. And I hope that anytime soon this one would produce another leaf because I'm so excited. It's finally growing and I can see a lot of roots. And I can see roots in here, like, um, I can see like aerial roots or something like that. I'm surely gonna add a lot uh, more soil so that this one would stand up like that. It's actually facing, it's actually leaning towards the light where it was placed because how I wish I could put this one inside my room and like if I had a brighter sun if my room was brighter, then I would love my Monstera Sabins to be inside my room just to make sure it stays healthy and stays away from pests that is everywhere. So, yes, that is my Monstera update and I will soon make an update video when this one would shout out a new leaf shout, shout out, not shout out shot out or will produce another leaf because i'm excited i want this one to grow and you guys plant community recently is growing very fast and still there's a lot of issues right now so i hope everyone would stay alert vigilant and what, did, what do you mean by vigilant i just said vig vigilant because i feel like it <laughs> Yes, and yes you guys, thank you for all of you who supported my shop. I I finally opened my shop yesterday, which is today's Thursday, Wednesday. I opened my shop yesterday. It's the the Verdi Frondi or the Verdi Frond. Um, please follow it on Instagram. Please follow my shop on Instagram. I sell plants um, from philodendrons, agronemus, pothos, you name it. And Thank you for you guys, or thank you for everyone who bought my opening plant batch, my batch one plants. I'm very happy and I'm very touched by your support and the congratulations and the greetings that I received. Um, it's a tough one because I'm still starting and I don't have a lot of, you know, to start a business, but I'm trying. And in this pandemic, you have to try harder. And yeah thank you for everyone who supported me in my shop and i hope that your con your support will continue and for you guys who are wondering there's still a lot of plants available on my shop every week there's gonna be new batches of, of plants and i'll be restocking every week so uh, don't forget to follow it the verde front or the verde front day here i'm gonna put it right here <laughs> if you like this video then like it and think, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And yeah, I hope you're, you, go, you guys are doing well in this pandemic. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.